Now China says it firmly opposes trade talks between the United States and Taiwan after the two launched a new initiative to deepen economic ties. Beijing has accused the U.S. of instigating and supporting secessionists in Taiwan. It warns that such moves will push the island into a dangerous situation. Now China claims Taiwan is part of its territory and insists foreign governments only engage with Beijing. Meanwhile, the European Union is upgrading trade and investment relations with Taipei. Now, the two sides have held their first high-level trade talks. Let's get more now from Lo Rosie Burchard. She joins us live from Brussels. Uh, Rosie, these EU-Taiwan talks are the first at such a high level. What's the significance? Well, the European Commission says this is about modernising this dialogue with Taiwan. Previously, it was held at a lower diplomatic level, but this time round, with the talks just having wrapped up, they took place between the European Commission's Director General for Trade and Taiwan's Minister for Economic Affairs. Now, also significant because these talks were delayed several times, likely because of the risk of sparking anger in Beijing. And while China has not yet commented on these official talks having uh, after they finished, uh, Be the Beijing's representative office here, embassy here in uh, Brussels did give a statement before these talks to the South China Morning Post in which a spokesperson said that Beijing firmly opposes any form of official interactions or any discussion on signing of an agreement with implications of sovereignty of an official nature between countries or organizations and the Taiwan region. And the spokesperson went on to say that this is not a trade issue, but a political issue that concerns the political foundation of China-EU relations. Now, on the other hand, the European Commission says that these talks with Taiwan are fully in line with uh, Brussels' One China policy, because while Brussels wants to deepen trade ties with Taiwan, this has nothing to do with diplomatic recognition. Uh, what are the likely key outcomes from today's talks? Well, the EU and Taiwan have agreed to look into ways of deepening cooperation on areas where their interests intersect. Most notably, that's likely going to be when it comes to production of semiconductors. Now, the European Union is engaging in big efforts to ramp up production of semiconductors within the bloc. And of course, Taiwan is a semiconductor production giant. It produces the majority of the world's chips and the European Union, meanwhile, has been experiencing severe shortages of semiconductors that has slowed down production of things like cars, it's essential technology for manufacturing other day-to-day -day items like mobile phones. So that's a key area these two sides will be looking into in future. And overall, the European Commission has also said, after these talks wrapped up, that Taiwan and the EU uh, are like-minded partners. Rosie Burchard in Brussels, thank you for that update. Let's get the view from Beijing now. CNA's Olivia Xiong joins us live from the Chinese capital. Olivia, Beijing clearly angered that the United States and Taiwan are stepping up trade ties. But what can China really do about it? Well, we have seen that warning from China's Commerce Ministry saying that it is opposed to any form of official contact that any countries have with Taiwan, also calling on the U.S. to prudently manage its trade and economic ties uh, with the island. Now, the context here is we know that the U.S. has maintained uh, unofficial uh, this unofficial uh, ties and relationship with Taiwan, but Beijing has become increasingly angered over what it sees as warming ties between the two sides on numerous fronts, which it sees as emboldening Taiwan's pro-independence uh, Democratic Progressive Party. Um, and so we see that while, uh, you know, Taiwan and mainland China were not included in the U.S. Uh, most recently announced Indo-Pacific economic framework, this new, uh, you know, trade ties are also is, is still, though, seen as a deepening of this relationship between Taiwan and Washington that has angered Beijing. Now, China's foreign ministry today also saying that, uh, you know, instigating and supporting secessionists in Taiwan will push the island into a dangerous situation, something that is accusing the U.S. of saying that it's violating the one China policy. Um, China has repeatedly also said that Taiwan is the most important and sensitive 
sensitive issue that it has with the U.S., saying that there is no compromise. And we have also recently seen uh, Beijing step up its military activity around Taiwan. Uh, the People's Liberation Army announcing yesterday that it held its third large-scale military exercise around Taiwan in the past 30 days. And it said that this was directly um, targeting U.S.-Taiwan collusion, as we had also seen that visit from a U.S. senator to Taiwan earlier in the week with the announcement of a military cooperation plan being discussed. All right, Olivia, thank you very much for that. Olivia Xiong in Beijing.